You are a lesbian. And you choose to have carnal knowledge of her in her state of unconsciousness. Is that so? It's not what you think. It's not like that. Okay. Nelly, please. How did you know she's not dead? Please, how do I revive her? Help me. You have to get any choking agents and place on her nose. If she breaks it, she will sneeze and wake up. Thank you. Let me have your same cards right now. What? What, what for? Why? I don't like repeating myself. My SIM card, why? You get me? <sighs> so, what I think that is just how it is for now. But, sir, I don't think he's safe going without my friend. No, um, nothing will happen to her. She's fine. But why is she not waking up? It's just, um, she's under the influence of a sleeping substance that was added to the drink. Substance? So Why? Anyway, sir, that's best known to her. But be rest assured that your friend, it's fine. Once that substance clears from her body, she'll be okay. I don't think she might harm my friend, sir. No. She won't do such thing. In that case, you may just have to pass the night here so you keep your friends secured and safe. I'm afraid. I'll have to fall back here tomorrow morning to check on you girls. By that time, she would have woken up. You just have to stay vigilant and watchful. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, bye-bye. Okay, all right. Please be vigilant. All right, sir. Your husband overstepped his boundary today, and I will not take it from him. What happened? He wouldn't let him leave the palace. And I had to cancel all the appointments I had for today. Why? Because he thinks I was going to see Lady Charlotte. Even if you were going to see Lady Charlotte, that's not enough reason to stop you from my leaving queen, the palace. You really need to go and talk to your husband. Because by the time my own madness starts, hey, nobody in all of this palace will be able to control me. No one! I'm glad this did not escalate into a fight. Well, it would have. I only just respected the crown on his head. I had to keep on. Wise decision. The guards will have malhandled you if you had squared up to him. That's a story for another day. But I, Princess Ebubeni, I will personally deal with them in this palace. You can't pick a fight with everyone. But he's the one driving me crazy. And he needs to be caught to order. If he's not caught to order, my queen. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. It's okay. I'll speak with him. I'm sure he will be calm. You just have to. It's okay. What I'm more interested in is how the business meeting went. How was it? My husband, please, do not accept authority on this. Let's deal with this as intelligent people that we are. If not, this is going to destroy the family. Listen, this family is too strong to be destroyed by an abomination. On the contrary, failure to deal with an abomination is what destroys the family. My husband, please, you need to listen to me. You've already pushed your sister to the brink. As we speak, she's on the wall. If you keep pushing any further, she would choose to bounce back. Oh, that would be great. She should bounce back and fall on a rock so she'll be smithered. You can't possibly go to war with your own sister. 
That's an insult to me. I cannot go to war with a Belen and you know it. So why don't you let her be? Like I have always said, this is international best practice. People in the Western world are already practicing it. It is not as bad as we make it look. I'm not going to have this conversation. As long as I live, and as long as I remain king in this Umuri kingdom, it will never happen. Huh. This is taking away the peace of this family. I can see hatred and war gradually setting in. Oh, sometimes war brings about peace. The most peaceful nations are the ones who have fought the fiercest wars. If this is what it's going to cost, I don't care. But you want her. That if she pushes me to the wall, I will descend on her with the totality and brutality of a king. Let her know that. She's living a way of life, eh? Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. And she don't want to let it go. What is wrong with our numbers? Why are they not connecting? Is she okay? What is really going on? <sighs> Hi, Bubu. How are you? Good evening, baby. Have a seat. So, earlier today, I asked one of the maidens to make a special dish for you. The special fried rice. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Now, what are you supposed to tell them to you? Thank you. Yay! Okay, so what's good? I want to ask you something. Okay, short. Why are you always having problems with my father? And who said I'm always having a problem with your father? Where did you get that from? Okay, now, listen. Your father is my elder brother. And sometimes siblings just want to have fun, exchange words and talk. I know you won't understand until a cutie just like you pops out of your mom's tummy. <laughs> Look, I love your father dearly. He's my only family. He's my only brother. So I love him with everything in me. Okay? So I don't have problems with your father. Right? Give him to you a smile. Smile, 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 smile. <laughs> All right. Time for you to go to bed. Here? Bye. Good night, baby. Sweet dreams. Auntie loves you. All right. Bye. Thank God you are weak. What happened to me? Calm down, calm down. It's a long story. What are we doing here? Well, calm down. What are we doing here? Calm down. I just I came back, I met you sleeping. I don't like this place. Calm Please down, don't. we can't go now. We can't go now. Why? It's very late. But it's not been long we came here. Yes. We came here in the evening, but check time is already past 2 a.m. What? How? Calm down. In two to three hours, we're going to leave here. It's already morning already. So calm down. Oh, Jesus. I'm completely lost. Jesus. What really happened to me? Calm down, let me explain everything. You said there is something important you want to discuss with me. Yes. All right, go ahead. 
Okay, so um, I'm going to be very straight on this. My friend said that I should tell you that she's in love with you. Who? Who in particular? Um, Adugu. Hmm. What an irony of life. Mm, sorry, I don't understand. Your friend is in love with me. Yes. And I love you. Okay. What? <sighs> yes. It's been a while I've been, I've been in love with you. Just that the opportunity have not showed up for me to let my intentions known to you. Wait, wait. You're joking, right? No, Chugo. I am not joking. I love you so much. And I want you to know that. All I ask is just, you know, a chance to prove my love for you. I do love you from the deepest part of my heart. Oh, but please, can you stop? Eh? I just told you right now that my friend said she loves you, that she'll help her to talk to you. And that is exactly what I am doing, not the other way around. Okay. Well, help me tell your friend, eh? Tell her that I don't love her. And I would never, I mean, I would never have anything to do with her. Okay. She'll, she, she'll get your message. Chiwo. <laughs> I want you to know that I love you so much. And I'm ready to do anything to prove my love for you. I love you. I want you to know that. All I ask is just a chance. Just a chance. Just a chance. To prove my love for you. See me, I don't understand all, all, all this thing that you're saying, you know, but nevertheless, I'll go, I'm going to tell her what you said. I'm, I'm, I'm going to... What an opportunity. Well, we'll see about that. Me. Sorry. You said everything you did with me. It was never intentional. Please. You pushed this at me. I will not take advantage of you. Ma, you are wicked than me. You tell the entire community who you truly are. Not only the entire community. I will tell my brother who is the head of the community. You will come here and board this whole house. I'm sorry. Okay, I will offer you 100,000 and I'll bring you your money. I'll take your money. I'll take she don't want to let it go Oi, She's living a wayward life Something she learns from the wisdom world It's a taboo in our own culture and traditions And I'm a science Something she call her freedom It's against the law of our land
How did he go with Tuba? He's proving stubborn. He doesn't like me, I guess. No, no, not really. So what exactly did he say to you? Well, he wasn't specific in his words. So I can't um, really lay concrete claims on a perfect interpretation. I was going to ask you what you suggest I do, but here you are confusing me the more. I'm not confusing you. But that is exactly what you are doing. See, I, I, I think you guys should have um, a discussion because I can't really make out anything from all he said. That means it was just a waste of time sending you to him. No, 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 you don't have to say it that way. That is exactly what is playing out here. Mm? Don't, you know what, don't, 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 don't worry, I'll, I'll go and talk to him by myself. See, you're getting upset and it's not good. Give me one reason why I shouldn't get angry. No, tell me why I shouldn't, I shouldn't get angry. I asked you to do something for me. You came back telling me nothing and you expect me to be happy. If it's you, will you clap for me? So what did you say you wanted to discuss with me? I need a driver. A driver? That shouldn't be an issue. I mean, one of the guys can drive you. All of them are professional drivers. It's part of the criteria they were employed. So if you need any specific one amongst them, just point at the person and I'll assign him to you. I, I don't need any of your guards. Why? Because I need them to concentrate on the royal force they made to you. And they've proven that they don't even see me in this palace. So I can't entrust my precious life in their hands. My darling sister, you see that oath they made to me is the more reason you should have one of them as your personal driver. By that, that person will never betray you. Well, let's try someone new. At least someone I can trust. And I've, I've seen a perfect person for the job. You have? Mm -hmm. And you are sure the person can drive very well? I think so. You think so? You haven't even seen this person drive before? And yes, I haven't seen him, but I believe him. He said he can drive. I mean, nobody will stand before the presence of the Princess of Umuri Kingdom and lie to my face. So I totally believe him. Let's just give him a chance. Hmm. Okay. If you feel the person you have chosen is the best driver for you, then we'll see about that. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. You requested to see me? Yes. What is it? Adaku asked me to talk to Uba on her behalf, which I did. What? Is it that bad that she's now running after men instead of men running after her? She's only following her heart. We shouldn't read meaning into it. I can never do a thing like that. See, relax. We all have different approach to life, okay? So let's not condemn her. You are right. But it would have been preferable and respected if Uba approached her and confessed love to her. Not the other way around. See, I, I, I know exactly where you're driving at, but that's not even the reason why I demanded to see you. What's the issue? See, when I went to Oba to tell him about what Adako said, instead he just, he, he, he turned and professed love for me. <laughs> Confucian race to power, too. It's not funny. He, yeah, it's, it is not funny, but... What are you going to do then? Hey, that is exactly why I demanded to see you because I don't know what to do. I'm confused. If I am to see, eh? Since Uba likes you, and if you like him, you both can move on. But won't she feel bad? She will feel as if I betrayed her. Um, you're right. But before you move on with Uba, eh? Tell Uba to make it very open and plain to Adako that he's not interested. 
And after that, you will be so free and nobody will harass you. <sighs> okay. Just think about it, okay? Oh, I'll talk to you later, okay? Alright, thank you. <laughs> The festival of Nchekwa Boho is around the corner, and I would like to lead the charge. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Goodness! This is the best news I've heard today. Why? Why is it the best news? Because I did not know you would want to lead the charge. Well, if I don't, who will? My niece is still very little, so I'm fully in charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. In that case, I'll speak with you no and get back to you. I like your dedication to it. Yeah, oh, no way again. You know that man does not like me. And you will be, be against me leading the charge of the festival. Ebubene, <laughs> my sister. Don't you ever forget that Uno is the Isin Zenoza of Umore Kingdom. And he's the one to set the festival in motion. Are you saying without the Uno, the festival cannot hold? I mean, why are you then the king? You see, in Igbo land, the concept of separation of power is an ancient one. Our forefathers were wise. They alone knew why they placed powers in many people's hands. Ono is the only person that can activate the festival. Oh, no wonder. No wonder he has been misbehaving. I mean, they gave him so much power, unnecessary power. <laughs> You know who is not misbehaving. You are the reason he's doing all this. Yeah, but I've already promised I won't do it again. Oh, yes, just me. I promise. That's where it ends. Okay? There is more to it. It doesn't just go like that. So, as my brother and the king, what are you going to do? <laughs> I have told you I'll speak to you know who and get back to you. Hmm? I beg to take my leave. It's all right. seen you in this mood in a very long while. What did you two discuss? <laughs> Everything is falling in perfect place, my queen. Tell me about it. So, I told you my intention of leading the festival of Nchekwa Boho, which comes up once every 10 years, and he accepted that I lead the charge. Wow! <laughs> That's a big one! I know, you can say that again. But, there is an order. And what could that be? Do you know? I don't understand. My queen, as you know, do you know is one man that is committed into these ancient things? Yeah, yeah. I know. But what has that got to do with this? He has to set the process in motion while others follow. The king does not need to know. He's the king. His power is absolute. Exactly my point. But he insisted that the separation of powers in the kingdom place responsibility on the noble. And because it's a hard knock to crack, I mean, it's making me so scared. <sighs> Come here. Give me. So scared. You don't need to ruin this beautiful moment with being scared. Look at me. I'll talk to my husband. Cheer up. Right. Thank you. Thank you, my mm -hmm. queen. Okay. So, Thank you. get it, Jen? Hello, handsome. 
As you can see, I am on duty. Eh? So allow me to do my job. I don't need that your deceitful smiles. Why would you say my smile is deceitful? Uh -uh, uh -uh. I don't have time for this argument. Just leave and allow me to do my job. Okay, can we see later? No. Why are you this mean to me, Uba? I am not mean to you. Just allow me to do my job. Okay, I will allow you to do your job, but please, can we see later? Please, I'm begging you. Until then, just go. Someone might be somewhere looking at us right now. Oh, all right. I'll see you later. What does she want from you? Don't mind her, girl. Don't mind her. Tell me, is she pregnant for you? God forbid. Why will you say such a thing? What is she discussing with you? That girl is very stupid. Imagine she's asking me to be her boyfriend. What was your reply? Of course I told her I'm not interested. It's a lie. It's a lie. I did. Why must you reject such free food? Don't you know she won't be demanding anything from you? And you'll be enjoying her for free. See, I don't like that girl. And I cannot have anything to do with her. Ha, fine now. Some too, and Cheda. Anytime both of you are smiling like this, <laughs> something is really cooking up. You can say that again, brother. So, what is it? So, brother, mm -hmm. we found you a good girl to marry. Mm -hmm. Oh. You found me another woman to marry? Yes, brother. Okay, so who is she? Well, we will hide her identity for now. But brother, the question is, mm -hmm. are you interested? Of course. I am interested as long as my beautiful sisters here approve it. I am interested. Okay. okay. We will bring her to you soon. Uh, yes. I hope she carry what I used to like. Brother, we know what you like. Oh, but we find the ring. Yeah, we are ready. We know what you like. Oh, Biana Azo, brother. Buriana Azo, Omo Buriana Azo. She is endowed. Eh, Omo Guaniru. Are you guys know what I used to like? Brother, she carry everything. Eh, yeah. complete. She's okay. a good girl. I will be waiting. All right. Now you know. Okay. Make sure she's beautiful. Oh, oh, mama, where's Baba? I don't know. She will not have it front and back. Oh. Mm. Good afternoon. Should I open it? Mm, is the princess coming out soon? Yes, yeah, she'll be with you shortly. Okay. Um, don't bother, okay? I'm fine. Okay, thank you. Sir. Thank you too. Hey. Hey. My one and only princess of the kingdom. Welcome. Oh, I didn't keep you waiting for too long. Hey, even if you did, there is no problem. I'm not complaining. I'm yes, fine. Yes. So, I have discussed with my brother about giving you the driving job, and he has accepted. Hey, my princess. You should have. Hey, thank you. My princess. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Hi. Okay. Thank you. So we will be going in shortly to see him, right? And your salary for a start is going to be 50,000 naira monthly. If there's any need to increase it as you tag along, I will increase it. Princess, 
I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I really appreciate this from the depth of my heart. You are such a good and nice person. I've not seen any princess like you. Thank you so much. Hi. You're welcome. What exactly did you tell Adako? I wasn't specific. But I told you to tell her I'm not interested, Kwano. Don't you think you should tell her yourself? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I would choose that. Okay, so let me ask you. No, 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 come. What about my proposal to you? Mm, I'm, 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 I'm still thinking about it. Think, 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 think. Uh -uh. Where did they think they go? Look at your fine ear. So when are you giving me the answer? Eh, Chirigo. Huh? When are you giving me the answer? Sir. Chirigo. Sweet baby, I'm with you. <laughs> Nobody will go anywhere. Hmm. Baby, if you are to be me, this will never happen. Somebody came to look for the princess. Who? I don't know. I've not seen this one face before. Never seen. <laughs> <laughs> My own is that someone should go and tell him that it will not work. Ma'am. Because it is going to be a total waste of energy and time. Yeah? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This may work, oh. you never can tell. I just thought that thing. Mm -hmm. Why are you talking as if you don't live in this palace? Like, you don't know what's in the apple. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Has it ever worked with any, any man before? This could be the last straw that will break the camera's back. Yeah. The princess is that camera's back that is, will be difficult to be broken. Well, if you people say so, let's watch and see you. She will stay in this palace with watch and see. By the way, He, he, he fine. Tall, he tall, he black, he fine. You for call me now? Mm. I for call you me, I no be woman. You the crazy. I will see me and call you me. What's in me I get? I no be No, 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 my brother, the king, asks stubborn questions. So please try and comport yourself in his presence, okay? Definitely, I will, my princess. Okay. My king. Yes, sir. Yes, brother. The king of the morning. I greet you. I greet you. You may sit. Thank you, your majesty. This is the driver I spoke to you about. Oh, okay. How long have you been driving? I've been driving all my life, Your Majesty. My friend, go straight to the point and save us all the time. Actually, I've been driving for about 20 years now. 20 years. Fair enough. My sister here insists you must be her driver. I don't know your capabilities, but with your experience, I believe you could. Your job specification is strictly to drive her. Nothing more, nothing less. Well understood, Your Majesty. On no account should you ever step out of this particular job description. Understood? Okay. Well, if you have any complaints you feel you couldn't tell her, one of the guards will bring you to me. Okay. Fine, you can start working immediately. you. You know I'll do anything for you, right? And you've just proven that right now. All right, I'll go back to what I was doing before I was called. Start work immediately.
What exactly were you doing with my man? I came out here because you were raising your voice. Why won't I raise my voice? Huh? Why won't I raise my voice? Don't start any stupid thing. We both could be fired. How? I expect you to give me an answer to my question. No, you're telling me one nonsense that we both will lose our job. What the hell were you doing with my man? Ah, uh -uh. you're not the one that told me to go and talk to Bao on your behalf. Are you trying to tell me that is exactly what you are doing? Huh? Do you think I'm a fool? Oh, you don't believe me. You don't believe me or what? That is exactly what I'm still doing. Okay. So, what was his response? Well, he said he was going to talk to you one on one. I don't know, but uh, not to worry, I'll, I'll make it happen very soon. Yes. <laughs> Jugo, thank you so, so much. <laughs> I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. I'm happy you're happy. <laughs> I'm going to buy you a gift. Really? Yes, if it works out. Uh -huh. Yes. What gift? Go, Jack. <laughs> I will not tell you till then. So let me let me leave you with your happiness. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh no. Your refusal to return to the palace and assume duties is beginning to get on my nerves and I'm not taking it right. Understand? The people who sack themselves from the boat should not turn around and accuse the other people of not giving them space in the same boat. And Arakuda Kako. What boat are you talking? Do you think I've come here to play? Your Majesty, what I'm asking the royal family to do is not rocket science. It is not complex and complicated. Once the royal family decides to do the right thing, then I will know that the coast is cleared for me to come back to the palace and start performing my duty as the know who of Omo Rekenda. Oh no, your refusal to come back to work is beginning to affect me as king. Why don't you just soft pedal? I don't understand what you mean by soft pedal. As, as you, as you suffer that by sleeping the abomination under the carpet and going ahead to behave as if something has happened? You know, is that what you want me to do? The festival of Nchekwa is coming first and we are yet to start preparations. But, but don't you say, it is not my fault that we are not preparing for the festival. It is your fault to know. How? You are the one holding the kingdom down. That's the point. Everything is set. Even my sister has indicated interest in leading the church. Oh yes, every other woman in this kingdom can lead the charge for that festival, but not the abominable one. I mean the princess. Wait. Are you trying to tell me you are still keeping malice with my sister? I am not keeping malice with anybody. Why should I be keeping malice with the, with the, with the princess? What I am saying is that the right thing must be done. And I am asking you to let me handle the right thing and do it. But for now, you come and do your part. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I didn't say, but I will not do that. I'm sorry. But no, why are you disobeying the king of Omori? Why am I disobeying the king? Your Majesty, I'm not disobeying the king. I am a man. I understand the rules. Disobeying the king of Omori is tantamount to death. I know it. I'm glad you're aware of that. Now, come to the palace and assume your duty. I am, I am not going to start my work as the know who of this kingdom until the princess has submitted herself for cleansing. Be good. Oh no, with this fire you are instigating, I hope you are aware it will consume you when it starts. And what does that mean? Because of women, they will bear me witness that what I am asking the royal family to do is not bad. Oh, you, you, Our kingdom is sacred.
can rename our kingdom is sacred. Are you sure you don't want to eat or drink something? No, you won't. All right, let me go straight to the point then. We will appreciate that. The festival of Nchekwabo is around the corner and I want to lead the church. Is, is that a problem? Not at all, my princess. Then why the cold reception? My princess, you are here to present yourself for the cleansing as requested by the know. Until you do that, where the medics of this land will not allow you to lead the festival of Nchekwa World. Yes. As in, is that true? Of course. This is actually because there is this abomination hanging around your neck. That is why we refuse to eat or drink from you. Thank you. Are you serious? Of course, yes. My princess, is there anything you want to say again? Is this a, a kind of gang up or something? Mm -hmm. My princess, this is not a gang up. We're only asking you to do the right thing. And what stupid right thing are you talking about? My princess, you have committed an abomination in this land and you need to be clean. Oh, you shut that dirty thing you call a mouth. Excuse me? This is the least I expected from you. You shut up too. Now, let me ring this to your hearings. The earlier the three of you start making up your mind to stand behind me during the festival, <laughs> the better for all of you. Else, you will get worse than this. And who are you to trust in the maidens of Umori? Just so you know, I, Princess Ebubene, can kill anyone who dares to confront me <coughs> during the festival. <coughs> and the three of you are not exceptional. <coughs> Girls, let's go. Let's go. Get out. Leave! Oh, the impetus. The audacity. Papa. Hey. Papa, I see danger looming all around. No danger at all. Hey. There's no danger anywhere. Father, have you forgotten who the king is? That man is somebody who can go to any length to get whatever he wants, and that includes killing. Why are you so calm, Papa? That includes killing? <laughs> so if somebody will tell you that Ezo Gris can kill your father, you will believe that? Papa, you're all that I have. That is why I am afraid, Papa. And I am telling you there is no reason for you to be afraid. Nothing will happen to me. But really, Papa, why can you not just ignore this man and move on? Why? I cannot ignore him. Because he is a king who lives in a palace. And the princess has been committing an abomination in that same palace. In the palace where the offer of our fathers is kept. That offer is what has made us who we are. An abomination is being committed near it. If that abomination is not cleansed, I'm telling you, yeah, it is going to clean all of us in the future. And there is no way I will allow that to happen. I don't even know why this is an abomination here. This nonsense is being done in all the big cities. And hey, I... Hey, hey. And the princess can now relocate to those big cities where the nonsense is allowed and live there. The sacredness of our journey is what has made us stick in this kingdom. And that same sacredness of our journey has been destroyed in all those cities. I'm not going to allow anybody to come into this kingdom and destroy what has made us sacred because she came back from overseas. It's not going to be possible. Uh, let this be the very last time you will, you will be discussing this thing with me. Ah. 
How did the meeting with the maidens go? It didn't go well. Those maidens are classless. And I will mess them up, I swear. You cannot go to war with everyone. What happened? They are standing with your know -who. And you know what that means. They are prepared to go to war. And I will deal with them. I believe your know who is the one instigating them. Exactly my point, my queen. <laughs> you, you cannot see where I'm coming from. Because if he doesn't call this an abomination and insist that you should submit yourself for cleansing, the maidens won't follow suit. I need solutions. What, what, what are we going to do? You need to go see the you know and tell him to step out of your way. Are you sure that's the right thing to do? Just do it. If it turns out it's not the right thing, then we can start amending it from there. But for now, it's better than doing nothing at all. Our kingdom is second. So we fight for with all of our strength. The secretness of our life. That's fine. Girls, the princess is mean about this. What happened in the palace? We need not to be told that the battle line has been drawn. Huh. Exactly. But we have to brace up for the challenges. We have fought battles bigger than this. So we don't need to entertain any kind of fear. But what if she decides to reach out to the other maidens of the land? What do we do? We represent the leadership of the maidens of Omori Kingdom. So no matter what she does, she can't break us. You're right. But the princess is not going to be that easy. She's not going to be easy to fight with. Yes. Uh -uh. Your words suggest fear. Mm -hmm. Are you giving up already? Not at all. We just need to be careful because the princess fights so dirty just like her father the king. Mm -hmm. The princess that I know, she can go to any length just to achieve what she wants. To hell with her. Who does she think she is? Mm -hmm. Let her bring it on. We are waiting. The only way we can defeat the princess is if we stick together and fight together. It is now left for us to stick together and fight together. At this point, girls, we need to stay together, mm -hmm. fight together, mm -hmm. and win this together. Exactly. One soul yeah. and one spirit, we move. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, the king and queen. <laughs> Please sit. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. I'd love to go straight to the reason I invited you, so you can go back to what you were doing before you were summoned. I will appreciate that, Your Majesty. The festival of Nchekwabo is fast approaching. And typically, we should have started preparations by now. You know that. I know. But you know who has refused to perform his duties. Why? You see, six months ago in this palace, he caught the princess doing something he considered an abomination. Since then, he's been insisting that the princess must go for cleansing. This should not be a problem. If a man like Ono Umendu has said the princess committed an abomination and is cleansing, it should be done immediately. You should not be against it. I am not against it, Ichie. What I am against is the attention it's going to draw to the royal household. How are people going to view it? They'll begin to sniff. How do we explain that scenario? Did you explain this to him? I very well did. 
but he insisted that the princess must go for that cleansing. Is he having issues with the princess? I don't know. I intend to find out. But in any case, if he's having any problem with the princess, the least he could do is come to the palace, we table it and sort it out. Not hide under the guise of cleansing to wage a war against my sister. I've heard you, Your Majesty. I'll talk to him and get back to you. Good. When am I expecting you to get back to me? Before the week runs out. No, no, Ichi, please. We are telling you that the festival is fast approaching. If we leave four days, which we have now, between now and next week, it would have approached. So I'd rather you give me feedback as soon as possible. Let's see how tomorrow will look like. Perfect. I'll be expecting you. Thank you. Have a nice day. So it is true. What are you talking about? So, and why is your face like this? So you have been sleeping with my man. Who is your man? <laughs> do not pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. But to be sincere, I do not know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Yes. You don't know what I'm talking about. When? First, let me tell you. I saw you having a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with Uba. And when I asked you, you told me that you were talking about me. But that's nothing but the truth. Each time I stood with Uba, I was always talking about you. <laughs> really? Yes. You sneak out of Uba's room last night. What did you go there to do? I was thinking you have something meaningful to say, but it is obvious you do not have. Chugo, are you mad? No, is something wrong with you? And that could leave me alone. Are you mad? Like, is your head paining you? Okay. I can see you want to play ignorant because you can no longer defend yourself, right? Do you want to know the truth? Tell me. What nonsense truth? Oba does not know. Liar! <laughs> you are a big liar. The sacred places of Umuri will bear me witness that I went to meet Uba to tell him that you love him. But instead, he chose me. Look at you. And you want me to believe that nonsense? It is up to you to believe. <laughs> really? Look at you. No, look at yourself. Husband snatcher. Do you hear me? Husband snatcher, that is what you are. You know what? I am going to deal with you. I will so deal with it that when next you see me, <laughs> Chiago, when next you will see me, you will not cross the same line with me. You can go and ask him, madam. I am the preferred. Shut one. up! <laughs> Fool. Yes, come in. My princess, greetings. Greetings? What is it? My princess, you have been so angry today. What is the problem? Nothing. Oh, no, I disagree. This is not my princess that I know. Something is bothering you. Please tell me what the problem is. You're actually right. But trust me, it's nothing to worry about. My princess, I can always be of help, no matter what it is. So, try and tell me what it takes. Caesars, it is women's affairs. And that is why I didn't want to bother you with it in the first place. Yes. Women's affairs. Well, if you say so, but I want my princess to try and cheer up, at least be happy. You know, a happy soul has a connection with a happy spirit. Ultimately, that advanced state of happiness reflects on the body. I can tell you that nothing can beat it. Hmm. 
That's very brilliant. Where did you learn that? My princess, where I learned what I just said is not as important as the smile that you just raised up in your face now. You are so angelic and charming when you smile. Can you please do that quite often? It will make me happy. My princess, you're not saying anything. Oh, that's because I was actually reflecting on the things you've said. But wait, were you actually saying I have not been looking beautiful all these days? Oh, no, no, I didn't say it. That's not what I mean. You look more angelic and charmingly beautiful when you smile. <laughs> okay, so what? What? I just made you smile. <laughs> You just have your way with words. Such a funny guy. <laughs> you know what? Mm -hmm. This is my greatest achievement since this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, congrats. <laughs> hey, my princess, someone is there to see you. Who? She didn't mention her name. <laughs> it's here, you my brother. <laughs> you are welcome one more time. I have a drink for you. Oh no, I'm not here for drink, please. Well, I should not want a drink. I have dry meat. Should I get some for you? No, 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 no. Jim Konya, what is going on? The chair Jim Konya that I know is a lover of meat. Why are you finally not interested in eating dry meat? Oh, you are right. But I'm having a tooth problem, and that may be to cut down on how I eat meat. I see. So, why are you here? Ibe sent me. I thought as much. Why did he send it? Oh no, my brother. Look, you have to end this war. The king openly said to me, you are getting on his nerves. And such wars are not supposed to come from the Igbe about his own own. Well, I need you to understand something that I don't understand it myself. Why all of you are referring to what is happening between the king and I as being at war? I am not at war with anybody. I am the Ono of Umun the kingdom, not the Ono of Ezo Gilles as an individual. When it comes to this kingdom, the kingdom comes first. You need to understand that. You may decide to play politics for what I'm just saying. But you know it very well. When Ono is having a problem with the king, it is not good for the kingdom. I am not having any problem with the king. The princess is the one who committed an abomination. And that she must have to submit herself for cleansing. She has to swear on the offer of woman the kingdom that she will no longer commit the same abomination. I caught her red handed committed. Mm. This is the right time you can explain this to me. What exactly are you talking about? What exactly did the princess do that you hold as an abomination that cannot be forgiven? What is going on here? It was after this event of catching her red handed that I started to investigate the princess. I found out she has been committing this same abomination in that palace. Hi! Where the offer of Umuri is kept. Not listen, the very day I caught them red handed, she was committing this abomination very close to the place where the offer was kept. Any other person may elect to ignore that. Not you know. I don't know what to say right now. You don't need to say anything. She has to submit for cleansing. I have told her, submit for cleansing, and she refused. Exactly. She need to be cleansed. But let me ask, is there no other way? There's no other way. No other way. 
She mm -hmm. must, she must. Then what do I tell the king? Tell him that I am insisting on the clans. Now, of course, he knows that that is what I am going to say. He is only wasting his time sending you to come here and speak. Hi. Hey. 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 Greetings, my princess. Ego, how are you? I am well, thank you. Haven't they offered you something to eat? No, 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 no. I told them not to offer me anything. There is, there this, is this abomination, abomination hanging, hanging around, around your neck. neck. That is why we refuse to eat or drink from you. Thank you. Are you serious? Of course, yes. My princess, is there anything you want to say to me? Uh, why? I do not want to eat anything, my princess. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm here now so we can talk. Right. Uh, you see, my princess, mm -hmm. I care about you a lot. That is why I have come to discuss this with you. It's nice to know you care about me. Thank you. My princess, you are about to miss out on something that is a great landmark to your existence as the princess. And what is that? Leading the festival. <laughs> I can't miss out on that. Yes, it is my birthright. And I'm going to lead the charge. On the contrary, you're about to miss out on it. You're just ignorant of that fact. And why, if I may ask? The maidens have met and decided not to attend should you be the one to lead the charge. And you know they must attend, adorned in their innocent form, according to our custom and tradition. Where are you getting all of this information? My princess, I am part of the leadership of the maidens. And what I have just told you is the agenda of the meeting the maidens are having this weekend. Our minds are made up. The only thing that can change it is if you decide to do the cleansing my father is suggesting. Oh, exactly. Now I know where you're coming from. So your stupid father sent you to me to brainwash me into accepting the cleansing, right? My stupid father. <laughs> On the contrary, you're wrong, my princess. Because my father has no idea whatsoever. I'm here to see you. Then go back and tell the maidens that I will lead the charge. And if they fail to file out as custom and tradition demands, I will lay curses on them. In other words, you are willing to lay curses on all the maidens in this land. Are you sure you can do that, my princess? Mm -hmm. Until then. You see, my princess, you cannot achieve anything with this style of yours. The maidens of this land are not people you can force to do things against their will, even if you are the princess. Ego, I am done talking with you. Go back and tell the maidens that I, Princess Ebubeni, I am not like every other person. And as the princess of Umuri Kingdom, I demand to be respected. Now leave. Very well then. Good day. Our kingdom is sacred, and no one can remain. Our kingdom is sacred. Can you please come down and tell us what's going on? Tell me. Chugo is my problem. That care is my problem. If she doesn't stay away from me, I swear with everything I hold sacred, I'll crush her. It has not gotten to that, Adago. Besides, you have not told us what she did to you. Eh. She smashed my man. Eh? Who? Oh. Oh, how? She knows how. All I want both of you to do is to take my message to her. Tell her to stay away from me or else she'll have me to contend with. This is the highest level of madness. Ma. Look at, both of them are dragging one man. Ha! Huh? Well, that 
thing is, me, I don't even understand. Like, I don't understand what is happening. I don't understand. I don't get it. The only uh, thing we will do here is to confront Ch uh, Chugo eh? and hear her own side of the story. And that's true. Dragon common palace guard. Yeah, 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 yeah. You my man, leave my man. How you palace made you be? Eh, hey, now what should be dragon palace guard? You not get boyfriend, no get and what's be that your guy name something? Uh come on, body job. My man. I was thinking I am the baddest in this palace. Little did I know that the legend himself is here. So tell me, how did you run it? I didn't do anything. No. I didn't do anything at all. That stupid girl is just killing herself for nothing. Why would you say that? The news is all over the palace that you jilted her for her friend. Now, the question you should ask is, was she my girlfriend? Mm -hmm. That's the question. Okay, even if she is not your girlfriend, but you have visited her wonderland, her inner carcass. Chineke. No, I haven't though. Huh? I have not. But I have seen you two countless number of times in a room. Huh? Alone. So, even if you have seen us countless numbers of times in the room, does not mean you have done anything. I come the other. Are you okay? Are you walking? Ask me the question properly. I don't understand what you mean. Like, is your this thing? Hey, hey, Onyeka. On our roll of former, it's working. 100% voltage. Mm. I'm still trying to understand why you will be in the room with a girl and her inner clothes is outside and you did not do anything. Hey. And brother, let me tell you, it's not every food that is being served on the table that one needs to eat. Sometimes, some are poison and some are above the neighbor. That's the truth. Well, but you now speak to me in riddles. I am meant to understand that those that speak in riddles are dangerous. So I'm not surprised. You're not speaking in riddles. Take it at face value. I don't have time to explain my riddles to you. You don't need to explain them. But you should know one thing for sure. This sort of temptation that is coming your way, if 10% of it comes an inch near me, 10% of this kind of temptation, I will swim in temptation. Hey! <laughs> I will devour the girl. I will chop her like never before. Onyeka! It's me. Onyeka, Onyeka! Just me. Onyeka the bulldozer! We are not to worry. Asalama for you. Dick at number. Yes, coming. Greetings to the most beautiful princess of Omori Kingdom. Greetings, Caesars. Any problem? Actually, there is no problem, my princess. But even if there is, we are going to solve that problem without disturbing you. I only came to check on the most beautiful princess of our kingdom and to say good night to the princess. Amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Always looking angelic. I just thought you were going to blow my mind. Please stop. Okay. I'm going to use that one to hold body and soul together tonight. My princess, let me leave now. <laughs> um, scissors. Just, let's go. Sit. Oh, what if the king walks in? <laughs> don't worry about the king. Okay. This is my room. So don't worry, I'll talk to the king. You don't have a problem. Okay. Just that I'm afraid of the king, though. Come on. <laughs> you don't have anything to be afraid of. Mm. Okay. I love the smell of your color. What are you wearing? Is that a compliment or...? What is the name of your color? Okay, close your eyes now to me. Just close my eyes? Yes. <laughs> Just close your eyes now to me. Close it for me, not close it. Okay, okay. <clears throat> eyes closed, 
<laughs> I'm just seeing it up. <laughs> All right, so. Aisha is closed. Mm hmm. What I want to put I can see you both are enjoying the food. Hmm. You can say that again. I'm glad. I prepared this specially for you. I thought as much. So when are you cooking for us? Soon. <laughs> okay then. We'll be waiting. The both of you should just relax. I got something better. We await your surprise. <laughs> Same here. Brother, hmm? I have something to tell you. Go ahead. I, th I think I like scissors. Scissors? Is that what you prefer now? I mean, it's brother. It's a nice guy. Hey! Scissors is an inanimate object. You cannot ascribe him to it. My love, I think what she's trying to say is that she likes her driver, who is equally her personal assistant, right? Yes, my queen. He's a nice guy, brother, and I like him. <sighs> I don't know what you're on about, but if what my instinct is telling me is right, then you cannot fall in love with your driver. Ah, there he goes again. Always imposing himself on everything. Oh, this has got nothing to do with imposition. Do you know who you are? You are falling in love with your own drive. How do I explain this to my friends? I mean it, brother. Okay, all right, please. Can we just stop? That's it. We can have this discussion later. There is no further discussion on this. This topic ends here on this table. The princess sent me a text message. Huh. What does she want? I don't know. But she said she wants to meet us. God forbid. After walking us out of the palace, I can't go back there. Me and Didi, I will never go back to the palace. Hmm. Never. I was about suggesting that. After what she did that day, I can't afford to go back there. Do you know it was as if the ground should open, let me enter. Me as in they can't go back there. I can't. But meeting place shouldn't be an issue. Just in case we decide to meet up with her. I think Amoga is right. I mean, we can meet anywhere. Ego, where do you think it's appropriate to meet her? It's not bad. Ah, no way. We may get distracted by people coming to see me or my father. I think here mm. is a little bit too busy for such a meeting. So, where do you think that will be okay for the meeting? Mm. Actually, anywhere quiet will be fine. I mean, it could even be under the tree before the vocational center. It's kind of calm there. It's okay. But do you think she's going to come there? Why wouldn't she? I mean, she wants to see us. This time around, she is coming to us. She has to. In case she can't come there, I have a better place we will meet her. So I think I will communicate that to her. As for me, isn't it? I don't have a problem seeing her. Better. Is that okay by you girls? No Better. Problem.
you've been smiling all along. So tell me, what is the secret of this precious smile on your beautiful face? You know, for over a decade now, I felt like a real woman inside of me last night. How? I don't seem to understand. You drove me crazy last night. I, I never knew you had such energy. <laughs> Jeez. My princess. It was such a beautiful experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My princess, the way you qualify things, eh, you can actually make someone give you his or her hat on a platter. <laughs> that would be a perfect thing to do. Having your heart, with such energy of yours. <laughs> Come on, please stop. <laughs> You're making me to blush. I'm glad <laughs> I can make you blush. <laughs> so, really? Um, mm -hmm. Can I ask you for a favor? Go ahead. Can we please see tonight? Is that all the favor you want to ask? Yes. <laughs> my princess, I mean, it's something I should do for my boss easily without even thinking twice. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it freely. Thank you. Thank you very much. You shouldn't be thanking me, my princess. Huh? I should be the one saying thanks to you. Why? Because you did me a favor, you, you gave me a job. I mean, something that a lot of people are even looking for the privilege. Look at me here yeah, having it on a platter of gold. Huh? Scissors. There's a way God works. And I think He actually brought us together for a reason. Yes. And I am extremely happy that we met. Concentrate and drag. <laughs> okay. You say so. Your wish is my command, my princess. <laughs> so let's go straight to the point. I know you all want the good of the land as much as I do. And sometimes, you know, we disagree, but it's necessary for a better community. My princess, you're right. Sometimes we disagree to agree. Absolutely. Um, so, if I may ask, why do you bring us here? I want you all to please bury my past, forgive and forget whatever I must have done wrong and accept this little token as a form of appreciation. Yes. <laughs> Sorry if I may ask you, what is inside the bag? It's money, three million naira. <laughs> See, don't worry, it's big enough to offset your bills and you're still going to have reasonable amounts left in your purses for future years. I'm sorry my princess, but we don't need it. We don't need it at all. So, you brought us here to bribe us. Ego, can you imagine? <laughs> bribe? This has nothing to do with bribing. It's just a token of my appreciation, like I said. A token of appreciation. Appreciation. What a sugar-coated way to put it. Tell her. Tell her. Maidens, shall we now proceed to excuse ourselves from this insult? Yes, I am already taking my leave. I don't think. Of course. <laughs> Come on, my friend. What about the money? Mm -hmm. mm. 
moment I have already granted you access into my living room. Even when you have not uttered a word of greeting, I'm expecting you to go straight to the point. If there is anything you want to say, just say it. Whatever you're planning will never work. Never! You need to understand something. I am not one of those political ninja. I am a rooted onionze who has received the mark of Ibo Bonze on the tongue. You have to be very careful. Constant demands that each time you see me, you are not just going to respect me, but you must humble yourself and say what you want to say Stop before me. Don't that sacred bullshit. A schemer like you does not deserve my respect. Never. Never! You know, you have pushed me to the wall several times, Ibo Bonze. But I keep ignoring you because each time I will remember your late father who was my very good friend. Oh, please. Leave my father out of this. He is dead and gone. I want to ask you a simple question, Olo. Why are you frustrating me? Why? I am the Olo who of woman Ray. And there is no way I will frustrate any citizen of this kingdom, let alone the princess. Oh, please. Olo, my foot. You know, I know. Your stock in thread is to move around town insulting people. But do not make me one of those people you insult because the Bubonze is going to hit you so hard. Mm. Stop frustrating me. Allow me to live my life to the fullest and exactly the same way I want it. Let me be! Well, I don't have any problem with you living your life. Whatever useless life you are living, that you are proud of. Listen, you may go back to that place where you learnt it from and continue to live there. This place is Umuri, where we have rules, where we have tradition. And there is no way I am going to allow somebody like you to come here and turn things upside down. Oh, my man. Oh, no. From all indication, you have declared war between yourself and the royal family. And war you shall get! Nonsense! You know, when the Ogene makes so much noise, we will just remind it that we know the blacksmith created it. Achaka. My God. Achaka, my man. Finally, God has answered your prayers. You can say that again and again. My God. I just wish to be you. <laughs> and why will you wish that? See, let me tell you. I have been on the terrace of Uduka ever since I developed feelings for her. Up till date, she has not given me green lights. Like, no hopes. Oh. Onyeka. Onyeka. I have told you countless number of times to forget that girl. You refuse. You are hair bent in following that girl. Let him be. You never can tell. There is nothing to tell. There is nothing to tell. That girl is very stubborn. Eh? Considering the fact that other girls must have fed her with his bad lifestyle. Hmm. What is your problem, Oba? Eh? They say the patient dog eats the fattest bone. You, you want to eat bone? Look, in this palace, Udoka is the fattest boon. And I am very, very patient. I know you are saying all these things for me to give up, eh? You want me to give up? I will not. I will never give up. I will keep pestering her till she succumbs. You are very stubborn. Uh, you will not listen to me. Listen to me, my brother. I'm telling you. Chief, leave I'm that sorry. girl. Forget that girl. Why did you stop? My princess, I, I want us to talk. I am not in the mood to talk. I know. That's why I am pleading with you to please kindly oblige my request of having just a three minutes discussion with you. My princess, I know you can do it for me, please. Okay, let's talk. You see this battle. It is a battle of tact 
and diplomacy. You cannot win it with physical force or threat. Not possible. Force is the only language they will understand and I will use it on them. If you fail to listen to me, certainly you're going to blow things out of proportion. So, what do you advise me to do? Good. We are going to discuss this at home, but I want you to first of all, cheer up, calm your nerves down. My princess C, with me by your side, you are certainly going to win this battle. Trust me. I can't wait. <sighs> That's good. One more thing. What? Smile for me. Jesus, I'm not even more to smile, please. My princess, please, some smile for me. Your smile makes me so happy. I don't even know how you get me to do these things. That's my princess. That's my princess. I don't want to get angry with Tunu. As it stands now, he's pushing me very hard, and what is left for me is to bounce back. Oh, a little more patience, Your Majesty. I keep talking to him till he changes his mind. We are running out of time. That is my worry. I know. Take it easy on him. Please. At this point, Ono will be the one to determine if I will take it easy on him because he has pushed me to the wall. Just hold on a little. Just hold on a little. Eh? Before taking any action, I will talk to him. Take it from me. So, if, if I should go by your advice that I hold on a little, how long do you think we're looking at? Before the end of this month, I must come up with something good. You're sure about that? Exactly, I'm sure. It's all right. Good. I'll wait till then. Good. I have to be on my way. All right, have a nice day. This guy is so full of wisdom. When he talks to me, I feel so much at home. Honestly, I think I'm in love with this guy. But my brother won't even let him come anywhere close to me. What am I supposed to do? What will I do? Yes, hello? Sweetheart. Lady Charlotte? Yes, darling. How are you? Where have you been? I've been searching for you everywhere. I even came to your house and your gate was locked. Your phones have been switched off. But what's, what's going on? That's what your brother wants. So I have to let you for now. My brother? I don't understand. That's not what we will discuss on the phone. I need to see you. Okay, it's fine. So, wh where do I meet you? Where, where are you so I can meet you up there? All right, I will test you the hotel where I'm lodged. Please, just send the address right away, okay? Fine. Um, one more thing. What? Prepare yourself because you'll be spending the night with me. Oh, come on. Do you even have to remind me of this? I've missed you so much, my love. I miss you more, baby. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> yes, come in. Greetings to the most beautiful princess the kingdom of Umuri ever had. <laughs> what are you doing? I have just come to fulfill the promise that I made to you this oh, afternoon. Oh, come on, please. It's not now, Joe. <laughs> I 
Adako, why are you spreading my name as man snatcher? We are you in a relationship with Uba? <laughs> are you not a man snatcher? I am not, and I want you to stop. Then stay away from my man. <laughs> See, let me tell you, if that's your little antics for me to leave Uba, it will never work. Then get ready for war. I will give it to you anyhow you want it. Oh, is that a threat? Yes. No, are you challenging me? Yes. <laughs> CM, Chugum, you will regret ever standing on my way. Really? Yes. Is that a threat? Call it whatever you want. See, let me tell you, let me tell you, Adako. If you try anything stupid, if you try anything stupid, I will crush you. I will humble you. Da! Da! Shut up! Shut up, dear! Shut up your mouth! You cannot do anything. Look at you, fool. Go, 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 touch it. Shut up! Stop! You cannot do anything. No problem. We shall see. I will be waiting for you. Chugo, I will be waiting for you. Stay away from Uba. Stay away from him. Fool. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. What's going on? She's not taking my calls. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with my girl? So tell me, what is the source of your strength on bed? My princess, it is true love. Hmm. I don't understand. You know, when a man loves a woman, I mean genuine love, it can go on hours, naturally. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, are you saying that you love me? Yes, of course. I love you and not just loving you, I love you with everything in me. I love you so much, just that I'm unable to open up to you. Maybe because I'm shy. Also. I know that you love me. Mm -hmm. How do you know? <sighs> By your body language, your gestures, you know, the things you say and how you say them, especially how you cheek me dead. You know, the most important thing is, I love you too. But, can you make a promise to me? What is that, my princess? I want this love to last long. Wow. <laughs> My princess, as long as I live and as long as I'm alive, I promise you that this love will last to the end of time. Is that a promise? Absolutely. And not just a promise, but a promise of love made from the heart of my heart. Was an I'm glad you know. But I love him. And I wish that you approve of our relationship. Never. But please. You've always wanted me to get involved with a man and make something good out of my life. Now I have found someone I am in love with. I don't want you to kill whatever I feel for him, please. I have always wanted you to get involved with a man. 
but certainly not with a low life. Does that matter? It does matter. Why do you keep forgetting you're a princess, you're royalty? You have a certain class. Any man that's going to marry you should be in that class. It doesn't always work like that, brother. But it works in most cases, and in this, it certainly will work. Please, I love this man. I just want you to approve of this relationship for once. Please, brother. Please. It seems to me you do not realize what I'm capable of. At this point, I don't even care whatever you're capable of. We're talking about my happiness here. I just want you to be reasonable for once, for once, brother. By that, are you saying I'm not reasonable? I didn't say so. You just said that. And I will not take it lightly with you. Why? Why do you always misjudge me though? Why? I don't ever want to see that man around you again. Then Our kingdom is sacred And no one can of our land must be held in high esteem I divide with all our might for the sake of our land Fuck off Fuck off Mikus, I know I fuck up I really fucked up big time You know what happened now You see we, we fell in love with each other You know where two people are in love now if you're that thing you say is just far, 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 far. So along the line, we lost control of our feelings, of our emotions. We didn't even know what we're doing. You understand? So everything just gone wrong. I believe she'll convince the king to bring you back to the palace. Yeah. Let me tell you, that is the last thing the king will ever do, guy. Why do you think so, bro? Because he warned me. He warned that I should never have carnal knowledge of the princess. Shit. See why I say that you fucked up. You fucked up, man. Bro, you fucked up. I'm not denying it. I know I, 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 I really messed up. I, 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 I messed up big time, you know. And I can't say I didn't mess up. So what's the plan? If I tell you I have any plans as we speak, I'm lying. I don't have any plan right now. Maybe you suggest for me and as my guy. Tell me if there is any any way out. Will you believe me? Oh, of course. Why you wouldn't believe I believe me? you? Are you not my guy again? I will tell you what to do, bro. You're my guy. See, huh? you call the princess. Start up your relationship with the princess. This time around, you approach from the France. Yeah. <laughs> with which phone should I call the princess with? Now, when this king... He removed my phone before he bundled me out of the palace. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any phone with me. Is it that serious? Yeah. I'm telling you that this thing is serious. You're still asking me if, if it's serious. Eh? That means all this thing I've been telling you now, you were not even <laughs> following up. Let me say, if I'm, Shit. I'm just tired, man. I have another suggestion. Go to the palace. You try to get to one guard, you know. Tell the guy to call out the princess. Maybe she might not have an idea what is happening or the brother sees your phone. What do you think? The palace that the king warned me never to get close to. Shit. Oh, that's a very big problem. It's a very big problem. <sighs> Greetings, my princess. How are you? You came alone? Yes. You made a proposal to the leadership of the maidens of the land, which was outrightly rejected. Yes. And at some point, I was wondering if you don't need the money. Of course, I need the money. That's exactly why I'm here. Hmm. Good. So, if I give you the money, what do I get in return? I will buy other maidens over and make them see Ezini and Indidia as bad people. 
who are unforgiving and don't know about the good for the princess. Before you know it, they will self pedal and you'll have your way. Hmm. Brilliant idea. But are you sure you can do this? It's an easy task. I'm doing my princess. All right then. You just hold on for some minutes. I'll get the money. You're welcome once again. Thank you, Your Majesty. So let's kick the ball rolling. There is nothing much to discuss, Your Majesty. I love your sister a lot, and I would love to make her my wife. Oh. <laughs> but this is not the kind of journey you embark on alone. I mean, marriage is not a child's play. It's a union of two families. You should be here with at least one member of your family. I know that, Your Majesty. But the princess is yet to say yes. So that's why I choose to make this journey alone. I came to plead with you to help me talk to her. I see. I'll talk to her, you know, but then the decision to get married to you is entirely hers to make. I know that, Your Majesty. Good. I appreciate if you can help me in any way you can. Call the princess. Yes, Your Majesty. To see. Yes, sis. So this young man is here because of you. I'd love for you to hear what he has to say from his own mouth. Okay. Jasper, over to you. Thank you once again, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Princess Ebubene, the pride of woman kingdom. <laughs> I came to see your brother because I would love to make you my wife. Just like that? Yes, my dear. I'm a man of few words, but full of action. Very well then. I am not interested. I beg to return. I'll, I'll be with you shortly. You know that was rude of you. Why would you walk out on a suitor? Just to embarrass himself. How? By coming to seek for my hand in marriage without my consent. It doesn't work that way, brother. Even at that, you shouldn't have worked out like that on him. Well, he deserves what he got, and I'm not regretting. Ebubene, you will go back there, continue that discussion, and conclude with him. I will do no such thing, brother, because I do not have anything to discuss with him. So I am not going. Do not push me, Ebubene. Let me ring it into your head so that you know where I stand in all of this. Better begin to make up your mind to marry Jasper. Are you going to force me to marry who I don't want to get married to? If it means me forcing you, I'm going to do that. <sighs> There's something you're not understanding here, brother. I am not one of those your village maidens that you can cajole into doing anything you want them to do without their consent. I am an international lady and it should be treated as such. Look at me in the face. Do I look like someone who cares about your international status? This is Africa. Omori Kingdom. And here we have culture and tradition. Which you 
must abide by. To carry your comfort and What happened? Ibubene is getting on my nerves, and if she's not careful, she'll feel my wrath. What did she do? How could she keep turning down suitors? For how long? Do you mean she has a suitor? A very responsible young man, sitting right in there. The kind of man I want for her. Why would she keep doing this? So what exactly is she saying? As usual, she's not interested. Not a problem, my husband. I'll talk to her and get back to you. Please, you talk to her. If she continues this way, she will not like the dark side of me. My husband, it's okay. You need to take it easy and not let issues that connect to the princess upset you so much. Alright? Touch your BP. I've been trying so hard to restrain myself, but Ibubene is pushing me. She's pushing me and she will not like what comes. <sighs> Sorry for that display of disrespect. It's okay, Your Majesty. I completely understand. Yeah, I... I think you should go for now, okay? I'll talk with her and then probably give you feedback and tell you when, when next to come so we can push forward. No problem. So when do I come back? Um... I, can I have a business card? I'll give you a call. This is my card. Well, you don't bother then. Um, hand it to him, he'll bring it to me. I'll call you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. This, this demon that is... Okay. You swine! You're so shameless and disgusting! Oh, was are free, so you can use it for like here. Yeah. <laughs> come, 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 move it. You see that money you collected from the princess? You have to return it. Yeah? You have to return it to over my dead body. Awesome. You heard me right. You must return it. Returning that money is not a debate, it's an order you must obey. And even if it takes doing it over your dead body, you will do it over your dead body. Wow. Do your worst. I will not return the money. Do your worst. <laughs> wait, wait. Did you just say that? You heard me right. Do your worst. Really? The least you three can do is remove me from being part of the executive of the Umuri Kingdom. On the contrary, you will be more than suspended. Yes, you will actually be banned from making any public contact with any of the indigents of this land. Hey, hey! All hail the King of Umuri Kingdom, whose words are true and power. The earlier you all wake up from that dream, the better for you all. Eh? Uh, you heard <laughs> did, it right. you, did you just call this a dream? Yeah. Big dream, oh. <laughs> Not just ordinary dream. Malaria serious dream. Mm. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. <laughs> eh? <laughs> you see this one? You are not getting away with it. I can assure you that. It's a promise. You guys don't have anything good to say. I just wasted my time coming here. Ah. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going to? How dare you walk out on us? Are you stupid? Is something wrong with your head? I'm asking you. Indeed. Indeed. Do you just push me? And I dare to push you. Are you stupid? Are you mad? I can see the dirty money you've touched is beginning to give you some wings. But if you don't shut that pit hole you call a mouth, go, 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 go. I am going to beat you here like a common thief. And indeed, you will return that money over your dead body. Are you mad? Because we are being gentle. You have the audacity to talk back after doing such a thing. Are you stupid? Imagine. 
and listen to me. If you try to make a move one more time or say anything, I'm going to beat you. In fact, we will beat you black and blue and you will not survive it. Mm -hmm. Don't dare. Mm -hmm. You heard her. Mm. Open that trash and see what I'm... I will show all of you. You're, you're, still, will... you're still talking. <laughs> Open that your mouth again. Come, 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 come. Idiot. Dirty well, thing. Girl. Look at her. Do you even know your way to swine. come? Swine. No. Do you know your way Why? to come? Uh, no, the money she has touched has all of a sudden. All of a sudden oh, she knows okay. the cuts. Open <laughs> that trash you call a mouth again. Amoge, open that trash you call a mouth again. I mean just as little as breathe and watch me choke life out of you and mm, return listen. that money over your dead body. Yes, swan. And listen, turn here. I am giving you two days. Amoge, two days, just two days to return that money. Else, you will like what will happen to you. Remember, a stubborn fly goes to the grave with the cops. Swine. Let's you heard her. You, you heard her. Look at her. It's two pieces. I want to have a simple and direct discussion with you. Okay, I'm listening. First, I am sorry for the way I behaved the other day when you came to see my brother. I came to see you, not your brother. I am still talking. Do not interrupt me when I'm talking. I'm sorry. First, you did not make your intentions known to me before coming to the palace. Secondly, and most importantly, I am in love with someone else. So I cannot and will not marry you. Princess, I love you. And I want to make you my wife, if you wish. It seems you do not understand what I just said. I did. Then if you did, I expect you to leave. All I ask for you is just a time to talk with you. Nothing else. I don't have a time and I do not have a space in my heart for you. It's obvious you are not in your right frame of mind. I will go and come back later so we can talk. I advise you don't come back here with your two left legs because I don't have anything to discuss with you. Excuse me. Hmm. What is it? Have you spoken with her? Not yet. Why? You should have had this conversation by now. I forgot. How could you forget such a sensitive thing? It's only natural to forget. I'm human. Listen, we have a very precarious situation in our hands. And you cannot be forgetting. Sorry about that. Once I leave your presence, I'll go straight to her chambers. Please do, it's important. Can I ask you a question, my husband? Yeah, go ahead. Why the hurry? Because I do not want her to miss this man. He is a perfect man for her. He's the one I want her to get married to. And what if she insists she's not going to marry him? That is where you come in. Talk to her. She listens to you. She takes your advice. Maybe after you have conversed with her, she'll sway her opinion. All right. I'll try. Don't try. Accomplish it, please. It wouldn't be that easy. I know. But you're a woman and you have that magic. Yes. Greetings, Your Majesty. You finally decided to show your face. And that is because I came to give you an important information. The princess is about to be given to a destroyer. A destroyer who is going to destroy this kingdom. You are not seeing it. And that is why you are doing everything possible to make it happen. Where is this coming from, Olu? 
You see, the destroyer I am talking about is doing everything within his power to achieve his aim. When that happens, the princess will not be the only one who will be destroyed. It is going to tamper with the very soul of your reign and then you will not be able to overcome it. So, what is your source of information? Ojadele is that seer of Onungere that nobody can ignore. I consulted him and he spoke to me directly. You may need to consult him yourself. Our kingdom is sacred and no one can rename. Our kingdom is sacred and no one can rename. So we fight with all of our strength. How did he go? She's proving stubborn at the moment. Do you think this will work? Yes, definitely it's going to work. She's only been a woman. Jasper, you really need to make this work. You don't need to be reminded of what is involved. I will do everything humanly possible to make it work. That's all I want to hear from you. It's good. Yeah, Your Majesty. You may leave. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Please sit. Thank you. You see, letting you in here should go a long way to tell you how much I wanted to work between you and my sister. I sincerely appreciate Your Majesty. You're welcome. Thank you. You see, I've been talking to my sister. I need you to marry her because you are the kind of man I want for her. Thank you very much. That's kind of you. But you have an important role to play in all of this. Your Majesty, any role you want me to play, I'm good to go. Good. You are the one who wants to marry her. I am just her brother and king. If you want to marry a woman, you should be able to talk her into that. So I want you to talk her into agreeing to marry you. Your Majesty, I spoke with her yesterday and if being given the opportunity to speak to her more, I will do that. In that case, stay put. I'm coming. Let me go prepare her mind to receive you. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome.
Hello? I have the stuff. Good. Then start coming immediately. No. He asked me to wait. Jasper, you already have what we want. There's no need wasting more time in that palace. Okay. Ha! Huh. The lions are falling for me in pleasant places. It is time to render Ezogilis useless. He will beg. Ezogilis will plead for mercy and mercy will be very far from him. Mm. Time to play the game. Yeah. I am not interested. And that is fine now, brother. I've already told you where my heart belongs. And nothing can change it. Ibubene, how can you settle for a pauper when you have a well-to-do man asking for your hand in marriage? What is it? Please consider him. My heart belongs somewhere else. You have a certain class. You cannot go below your standard because your heart is playing games with you. Order from the king. I must search you, sir. Are you joking? No, I'm not. You want to search me? Why? Order from the king. Your Majesty! Your boys are insisting on searching me. What do you mean you don't understand what is going on? Of course. I gave them the order to search you. Why? I just had an urgent call. I want to go and attend. I'm still coming back. So why are they searching me? I kept you in a place where even the soul of this kingdom is kept. Anybody can make away with anything. And you know anything that leaves the palace hardly comes back. This is an embarrassment to my personality. Only is it how? You see, Jasper, there's only one way to find that out. And that's for you to allow yourself to be searched. But, uh... I think you're embarrassing this guy. There are seers in this kingdom, Ibubene. You may not believe it, but indeed, there are seers. Search him. Put me. Hey! Hey! He's a thief! Your Majesty can explain. So you are the evil that invaded my abode in the guise of an in-law? Your Majesty can explain. This is a setup by your enemies. They've been planning to destroy you from the beginning. Who? I think he's the one calling me. Pick the call and put it on speaker. Hello? Just bring the ancient of all to me. Eh? I have contacted the buyer and they are willing to pay up to a million dollars. We are rich, bro. Just bring the ancient of all to me and the rest is history. It's okay, I'm already on my way. Your Majesty, please. Please. Hey!
by the time I'm done with that young man, he will regret targeting this family. I understand the members of the vigilante have gone to pick up his other partner in crime. Exactly. And I will expose them to the totality of the ancient powers of Omori. He will look for help, but no one will come to his rescue. What do you mean by ancient powers of Omori? I believe all this nonsense are happening because I kept aside the powers of my fathers to deal with them like a man who is civil, with tolerance and decorum. But you can see all of that is not yielding anything. Shouldn't we be talking about the princess now? We should allow her marry somebody she wants and loves. That has been handled. I am no longer leaving any stone unturned. I will unmask all the evil around me. And to do that, I will involve the ancient past. I have been meaning to make a confession to you. You know, all this while, Lady Charlotte had me in check because she made it very clear to me that she would ruin my marriage if I do not play along. Lady Charlotte, I don't understand. What, what are you talking about? Everything that's been happening in this palace is all my fault. Wait. You mean you are part of the grand scheme to make away with the ancient staff of my father's? No, not that. This has absolutely nothing to do with that. I'm talking about the problems the princess had. It was my fault. Why are you confusing me? What are you talking about? What do you even have to do with that cursed lady? I was involved with Lady Charlotte. Before I met you, your coming into my life made me quit that lifestyle. And she promised she was going to let you know about my past. And once you do that, you would throw me out of the palace. So. Why did you choose to come clean now? I'm tired of carrying the bondage of supporting evil. The princess is about getting married to a man. My husband. Please, if I could get your forgiveness for keeping this away from you all these years, then I'll know exactly how to deal with Lady Charlotte. Please. How? How do I ex Are you making me a promise on the ancient staff of Umori that you will never go back to that lifestyle? I already stopped even before we got involved. Nothing can make me ever go back to that lifestyle again. I will not judge you by your past, for you have been an excellent queen. And I intend to keep it that way. As for Lady Charlotte, she has been handled, and that's all there is about her. Jesus, we meet again. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ebubeni, I'm sure you don't know what played out here. You see this guy? 
He's my boy. Oh, yes. But I, I am lost. Can someone bring me on the same page? Success in Dubizu, seated right beside you, is an old friend. I engaged him to get you out of lesbianism. And I am glad he succeeded. Brother, <laughs> I personally brought him and pleaded with you to employ him as my driver, mm -hmm. which you did. Mm -hmm. And he became my personal assistant. So where's the connection of friendship and where's that coming from? My king, what you are asking me to do, it's a mafia oppression. And you feel you cannot do it. Listen, success in Dubizu. I have known you for many years. And I know what you can do. I picked you for this because I know you can pull it off very thoroughly. Your Majesty, this whole plans that you configured will surely not work out according to plan. It may make you see me as a failure, and that is what I don't want it to happen. Listen, success. It took me time to come up with this. Ebubene is deep into lesbianism. But I want you to bring her out of it. Your Majesty. Hope you know that to bring her out of this will certainly make me to end up having something to do with the princess. And who says you cannot have anything to do with her? Listen, you have my royal express permission to go all out with her. But please, make sure she doesn't get to know you and I have known before. Oh no. You trust me on that. I can't disappoint. Good. As for the lady they call Lady Charlotte, the one that deceives her. Okay. I need her dismantled. If possible, run her out of town. Mm. <laughs> I don't have any problem with that. Once I see the motivation, <laughs> trust me, I trust the process. I will begin immediately. You have no problem with that. I will wire a million naira into your account and then furnish you with other necessary details. Okay. Scissors. My princess. Wait. So, you actually were not looking for a job the day we met? Absolutely. Ah. <laughs> I wasn't looking for any job. What happened was that I dislodged Lady Charlo the night before you came. Hey, there is something I want you to do for me. What is that? I need your help to get to Lady Charlotte. How? I don't want it to look like blackmail, but it is something close to that. How will I do that? I discovered you are into women also. Fine. Since you know I'm into women, blackmailing Lady Charlotte is like blackmailing myself. Come on, come on, look. We are going to do it in such style and manner that you won't get involved. Is that okay? Okay. Great. So what is in it for me? Uh, yeah, I will offer you 300,000. 300,000? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let me hear your plan. Okay, um, look. Yeah. You cannot as well get someone to help you with the process. There's this friend of yours I used to see you with. What about her? Nene? Is she also into women? No, she's not. Is she aware that you are into this? No, no. Let's just leave Nene out of this. What if I'm the one to drink the drug juice? It still doesn't change anything. Or do you mind being touched by a woman? I don't like doing this with hey, Nene. Come on, look. Either ways, we both still get what we want. She is too innocent for this. And I had to be here 
the next day because I knew you were going to come. So that was what played out. No, so so the both of you conspired together and made a fool out of me. Not right? Really. Not really. Um, the most important thing is that the whole plan worked out very, very well. Absolutely. And trust me, I feel better and better inside of me. I know. <laughs> you see. I've always known you needed that inner peace. So I employed him. We hatched a plan. And I'm glad you're happy now and everything is fine. You're no longer involved in that. <laughs> so now I can comfortably call for the cleansing so the festival can begin. On that note, both of you can go ahead and cement your relationship as man and wife. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything for you, all I need is your happiness. Young man. Your Majesty. Make sure you take very good care of my sister, else I will invoke the wrath of my eyes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the so practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. She don't want to let it go. She's living a way one life. She learns from the wisdom world. It's a taboo in our own culture and traditions. And I'm a science something she call her freedom. It's against the law of our land. It is a taboo for a woman to lay a fellow woman in a land. It is a taboo. I'm a banging a science of a It's an abomination to say to women who are intimately in love. You know they have now. At the MM, it's an abominable thing. No, stop living away with life. Oh. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. She learns from the wisdom world. It's a taboo in our own culture and traditions. And I'm a science of something she call her freedom. It's against the law of our land. 